today I'm going to be showing you how to score films in Ableton, what the scene needs, you know, people marching. So I just went on to Splice and I got this. But the problem is that's just one person marching. So I added in a second layer. So those together, you know, it sounds that it's like more than one person marching. With everything together, as you can see, like around here, the camera moves, right? So in that moment, I added in a fade here. So I just press A on the Mac and then this fade option comes up. And that's what I did. I added in this fade here. For example, when the camera moves away, so does the sound. And obviously we have like that giant volcano eruption. This is like a mob protest uh, sound that I got in Splice. You just have to be like creative with this stuff. Like there's no rules, right? So. And you just have to layer things over each other. Here's like another mob panic. I've added a utility gain uh, to it, as you can see here. Just so like, for example, if I take this, if I just bring the gain all the way up here, if I just start it like this. As the camera moves, I want the sound to like pick up the orc army over here because this mob protest sample is for this army and there's a whole nother army here when the camera like pans off. So that's why I have this over here, the, the, the volume coming up like that. It gets louder and louder. So obviously I have a bunch of orcs. Let me just like close this window a little bit. I got some really cool orc sounds and I've laid them here. If I just solo these together, if I just solo this one by itself, you want to get creative. So I just layered two orc sounds on top of each other and I just messed with the pitch of it. That sounds a lot like fuller, you know? So this one right here. If I just like keep the pitch how it was intended. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you mess with the pitch, like you can, you can pretty much use like the same sample without like people actually realizing that it's the same sample. And um, you can, you know, you can kind of morph the sound a bit. This scene was a pretty important one for me because as you see the, the camera, you always got to follow the camera, right? So as these archers shoot, this is obviously the, the archers. So yeah, the, they're shooting multiple arrows at the same time. You can't just have like one, you know? So these are the, uh, you know, the grunts from the arrows, the, the bowmen. You can't just shoot without like making a scene, right? So yeah, all together again. Boom. And then I created a little, just like a little orchestral riff, if you will, to like kind of make tension. And I have like a big bomb, like drone, because you got to have a drone, right? Oh wait, no, this is the, uh, yeah, just like a quiet shot. Here's the drone. And by the way, I'm using contact for this. I'm using Nucleus right here, Nucleus. It's like a, it's kind of like a Spitfire, just a different kind of version, uh, more, more of a modern Spitfire in VST. Okay, so let's go, let's move on to the, obviously I have the drums here. It's, with the drums, I'm using Cerebus, which is also a contact VST. 
Uh, the drums are just so big and impactful. I love them. All right, so let's go all the way back up to the mob sound, which I have altered quite a bit according to this camera. See, as you can tell, remember, the camera very quickly passes, you know, the orcs at the top of that mountain and then it, you go into like the distance, right? So if I take this like utility off, because as you can tell, I've altered the gain. So this is where the camera pans, the gain goes up and then it drops because like the distance, this is like to, according to the distance, right? If I just keep it the same like this, if I take the utility gain automation off, it doesn't sound right. It's just like constant. You need to think about like the, the actual camera and like try and make it believable. So if I put this back on, it's gonna sound a lot more realistic with the movement of the camera. So as the camera p moves away, so does the gain, the volume, right? And then it creeps up again because we're starting to get closer towards the army. Drop, build up again. It's all about the little details, right? This scene right here, I added in a you know, just like metal cages for that. But I also added in flags that are flapping in the wind, if I can find them. As you can see, in, from the images, there are flags flapping in the wind. Right? So I had to add in the, the flaps. I just typed in like flags flapping in the wind in Splice or something, right? If you take it out, It's kind of, you know, it's, it just adds a little bit more. Right? And uh, obviously I've altered the volumes of these. So when it's like this scene right here, we're obviously closer to the flags. So the flags are flapping a bit louder, right? Over here. You see? These guys have their own kind of like mob panic thing that I added, but I only included when there's a shot of them. If I just extended this the whole time, it's going to sound weird, right? Look, because like it keeps switching scenes, switching armies. So if I go back and have a listen again. Right? And all together. So as for that scene as well, you know, I obviously added add in a fade with the with the stampede. Like I said, you gotta get creative. So I just typed in, I was thinking, what does this scene need? I typed in stampede and I got like a stampede sample. But once again, I couldn't just have it playing. If I press A, I couldn't just have it like that. So for this part here, you know, I couldn't just have, have no fade. If I go back, I had to add in a fade here because as you see with the, with like everyone, it takes time for them to get here, right? So if I take this fade out and play it all together, it's gonna sound weird. It's just little things, right? So I add the fade back in. Boom. And obviously, you know, I got the sword clashes. Um, I'm not going to show everything. <laughs> Boom, there's the baddie. The big boss is here because, you know, the big bad wolf is here, like, because of the music, right? For this guy, he has his own special Sauron. We know who he is. He has his own special choir. If I can fucking find it. So if I go in here, it's just a bunch of notes, like, 
layered over each other. Yeah, so if I just go to fold here and zoom out, it's these notes. I wanted this scene right here to have like the biggest impact, so I couldn't use this like right at the beginning, you know, like. Otherwise, when it gets to this part, like it's going to have like a, such an impact. It's just going to cheapen his moment, you know, so that's why I just use it in that part. Don't forget like the, the breaths and stuff, you know, like you, this is how you can tell this is like a main character because like you can hear his breath and you can hear this guy's breath too. Little things guys, even though as you can hear like the footsteps create suspense, right? As I said, I couldn't just not have a fade here. It would sound weird. It's like he's walking right next to him, but he's not. He's approaching, right? So he's approaching. So I just press A and I add that fade in. So it's like a approach. Notice when, when it gets close to him, you know, the volume is a lot louder of the footsteps. Yeah, it's just these little things. I thought this would be cool if some guys just like, <laughs> just to like make this guy like a lot more scary. And also don't forget like the metal clanking and all these like little fine details that I've added in here. So when these guys are flying, right from the start, I need to add a fade. All right, right here. So yeah, I just typed in like horror scream into splice and I found some cool things. If I just didn't add the fade here, it's weird, right? Because it's like he's getting hit right next to the camera, but he's not, he's flying towards the camera. That doesn't sound right, so you just press A on the Mac and you just add the fade according to like where they're flying from. So here I've done the opposite, they're flying away. Right, if I just had the same thing here, there's no real fade out. Their screams are gonna, f should fade out, you know? Same thing here. And just like take note of the metal clanking. I just typed in like metallic sounds into splice and pulled this up. And yeah, you gotta get creative because like a lot, like no one's getting like hit with a sword here. But it's kind of the same sound, it's just a metallic sound. And you know, through here, through this whole fight scene, I used this. Just in the background, you know? I mean, it's just it just sounds like metal on metal, so I used it for like when he hit the wall. Once again, footsteps, and I also have like, when he walks, when this guy walks, you know, he looks like a big metal machine. Once again, with the fade, I know I sound like a stuck record here, but like, if I take that away, like there's no, there's no like, anticipation, you know, you can't, it doesn't shock you. It's like, oh, okay, he's walking towards us. Like, we know that, and it's like, it's not gonna be that shocking. When you add the fade in, it's just way more like, it's way more shock value. <laughs> I 
nice cin cinematic trailer uh, kind of hit here. I just typed in impact into splice. With scoring with Ableton, you just got to find that you just got to find that spot where, boom, where you want it, right? So you just drag, and you have to. You can't do this with like any other grid. You have to just turn the grid off. Boom. And as you can notice here, like I said, it's a little fine details. There's smoke, and it's it. It sounds like a barbecue. Like it's some. It looks like his fingers are like frying and cooking. I added a little. Uh, fire sizzle right here uh, excuse that train it's not part of this video <laughs> not part of this scene it's an actual train outside the window yeah if I added a little bit of a for fuck's sakes if I added in a little bit of a fade here so altogether here you know, I added a little bit of a like orchestral part for the scene change. So we know like something's about to happen, something different's about to happen. Notice that crackle at the end, add it again. Yeah, it's just these little things that you gotta like, you gotta watch out for in the scene. Uh, right here, you know, I see a lot of smoke coming off him as well, so I added the crackle. All right guys, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. It's different from my usual like melodic techno content, but I just want to, you know, I want to delve, delve into a lot of different areas concerning Ableton. I have another score coming up that I can show you and um, I hope I provide you some insight. Hopefully Ableton, you know, steps it up when it comes to video editing um, because, you know, a lot of people love Ableton, man. Ableton is like really really popular and uh you know hopefully f with the next update they take these things into consideration if you guys want to see another more in-depth more in detail uh film score i can definitely show you guys uh just leave a comment down below thank you so much for watching uh until next time happy producing bye